Gary Wang, Chief Executive and Founder of Tudo.com. Now, some people say that your company is the YouTube of China. H how fair is that? Well, we, I think we, we do a lot more than what YouTube does. Um, on Tudo, uh, we are, you know, we will say we are sort of like YouTube plus Hulu plus uh, HBO all rolled into one. About half of our traffic come from UGC, so it's very much uh, similar to YouTube. So we buy uh, quite a lot of content every year from Taiwanese, mainland Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Hong Kong, and a little bit of American content too. So this is basically the Hulu model, right? the premium content model, only that we work with hundreds of content partners instead of just three or four as in the case of Hulu. The original content we do are basically um, in the daily variety shows that we do. Uh, also, we do reality shows, right? Sort of like uh, you know, who wants to be a millionaire kind of uh, nature, that kind of show. And we also do drama series. Um, so similar to HBO kind of mini series, we do 12 episode series. Each episode about 45 minutes long. Um, the one we just did and that was just now released online, we do only online, uh, it has drawn something about 34 million views just in the first two weeks. The internet, many people say, is a force for social change. And in China, the government perhaps sometimes is, is not so keen on social change. So how does the internet fit into China? Well, I think it's not, I think the government, uh, their guiding philosophy, as we have seen, is to build a harmonious society, right? Uh, there are many definitions of what a harmonious society should be. Um, so I think everybody, I mean, you just saw the speech given by Premier Wen Jiabao, and everybody, I think, from up, uh, from the very top to the to the bottom level, government officials, everybody, uh, we all talking about building a society toward a better society, a more uh, a wealthier one, a more harmonious one, and where people will get their their respect and their right to speech and right to whatever. All these kind of things, I think, are the goal. Now, I think there are different opinions about uh, the routes that you can take to achieve those goals. Um, so for the internet, um, there is no single set of voice and say whether the internet is by itself good or bad. Right? Um, the way I view the internet is pretty much a lot of these uh, leading uh, lights in the government will probably view the, the, the internet is internet by itself is just a tool. It's a platform. It's a reflection of the real society. So um, what you see online is pretty much what you see uh, of the society itself. So the, there are many things that the Chinese government, of course, is a lot more powerful and have a lot more influence over people's daily life. So it happens in the offline world, so it naturally carries to the online world. To us, we don't see any differences, really, of what uh, the government is doing online or offline. What if one of your users uploaded a video, say, of what happened at Tiananmen Square back in the 1980s? How would that affect your business? When you are a company operating inside China, you follow the rules and regulations, right? There are clear rules and regulations that uh, that uh, define what you and you cannot do. Similar, I think, uh, for for companies, any company who is operating in China today has to follow the rules. Be be it Microsoft, Intel, Google, Yahoo, everybody. Uh, when you are inside a country, if you are very interested in the market potential, then it means that you have to accept a lot of things that you probably don't want to accept back home. Now the internet is developing very rapidly. What are the main challenges, what are the main difficulties that you see over the next five years? We are a company, right? So uh, basically we look at the speed of how the market is evolving today in China. Uh, the, the economy is growing, 10, 7 percent uh, a year, I think will probably be 7 percent a year for uh, the next five years. Uh, it's not going to be like 10 percent growth before, but still 7 percent growth is a very high uh, growth. We see the consumer spending at 
double that rate. So easily you'll be looking at 15, even 20 percent of consumer spending. Right? We see very large number of population moving into cities, one better life. And we see young people increasingly spend their entire life online. Right? So all these drive the huge behavior changes and also drive the to just daily entertainment life revolving around video. Uh, all these things are changing very rapidly. So the so there's uh, the challenge is really one is how do we write on those positive things about just the sheer amount of opportunities out there for companies like us. And on the other hand, of course, it's a it's a it's a rough sea. So to to ride in those kind of um, waves, actually, it's it's a very uh, it's very very tough work. Now, at the moment, you're an internet company. Um, what ambitions do you have, perhaps, to get into more traditional media, say, like owning a film studio or becoming a terrestrial broadcaster? And we view to though as a media company. So as I said, we are already uh, in the production business, right? Uh, we have a distribution through the PC-based internet. We have just got into mobile internet uh, through a partnership with China Mobile. Uh, also, our apps are now available on iTunes Store um, and on Nokia and, all, and on all these uh, mobile devices. So I think the growth are really in these new frontiers. Uh, I don't see us being any stronger than say, you know, those traditional satellite operators. I used to work for Hughes, and these are strong companies in a very stable market, and there is not that much of opportunity. But for us, we would like to, well, I believe uh, the, 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 the major shift will come to the mobile device world. Uh, and PC internet, there's still huge room to explore. So if you just look at purely just from the resource allocation point of view, you know, uh, the reward reward coming from getting into these new spaces, I think, is far greater than anything we can get from uh, satellite, for example. How much do you think you and your industry has learned from the perhaps disastrous merger of Time Warner, a traditional media company, with AOL, an internet company? For the for that merger, it, it might be a terrible, terrible deal for Time Warner, but it was a great deal for AOL, right? How tempted would you be by such a deal? Uh, I don't think there is anything uh, like that right now. Uh, I think we are focused exclusively on internet and mobile. And in China, there is not. I mean, every media company is state-owned, so we we are, we are purely just focused on what we do now. Gary Wang, Chief Executive and Founder of Tudo.com, thanks very much.